Yo, what's up everybody? It's Hades here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the Wild Seed Cradle mount. This mount is 100%. You'll get this by the end of the guide. It should take you not even 5 minutes. So by the end of this guide you're going to have a new mount and all you have to do before we get into this is smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, enough jibber jabbing. Let's get you your mount. I am Hades. Okay, to get this mount, it's quite simple. You need five items. The gardener's basket, the gardener's hammer, the diary of the night, the gardener's flute, and the gardener's wand. These five items are located right here in a nice little vicinity. And then when you're finished, you'll be going to talk to Twinkle Star, an NPC located in Tirna Vale. Okay, so let's head over to Ardenweald and get this mount. The best way is to fly to Root Home. It's a lot quicker. Okay, so just remember all the coordinates will be in the description below. The first one I'm going to be going after is the diary. So I'm going to type in the coordinates into my chat. And if you have the add-on TomTom, which I'll have a link in the description to get it below as well. It will, as you can see on the left hand of my screen, it will give me an arrow and it will tell me where. So the diary is located up high. This is the only toughish item you're going to need to get. As you can see, I've gone up the, the bridge and the arrow is telling me where to go. It's as simple as that. There we are. There's the diary. Right there. I'm going to zoom in. Right click it. Loot the item. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Okay, the next item I'm going after in the video is the gardener's hammer. So again, I'll get the coordinates, paste it into my chat. And the arrow comes up again. I'll mount up. And as you can see, everything is within the, the vicinity. It's not far at all. You don't have to travel far. And the arrow basically does all the work. You don't have to do much at all. And it's in the back of this cart. Right there. Right click it. And you'll have the hammer. So that's two out of the five items right now. Okay, now for the next item I'm going after. Again, there's no specific order. I'm going after the gardener's basket, so I'm going to get the coordinates, paste it into my, my chat, and the arrow's going to come up, and I'm going to go and get the basket. The basket's a tough little one, it's, it's very hard to see, but it's between those two rocks. And while I was recording this, I almost forgot where it was. I'm doing it on my demon hunter because I did it on my death knight already. There it is, right there. Loot it. Sweet, Bob's your uncle. Let's go and get the fourth item now. Okay, the fourth item I'm going to get now is the Gardener's Flute. Again, no specific order. You can get them whatever you want. So I'll paste the coordinates with the TomTom add-on. And it's going to point the arrow to where I need to go. TomTom is a great add-on. So if you get coordinates, you can just type in forward slash way space and then add the coordinates. And it'll give you an arrow and it'll tell you exactly where to go. So for the next item, the Flute. Once we get there, there'll be some little ads there. Sometimes they aggro, sometimes they don't. I somehow manage to aggro them. So just quickly kill them, like I'm about to. Oh. Man, when you're level 60, this is way too easy. But hey, you get a mount at the end of it, so I wouldn't complain. Because I didn't complain. I was like, yes, one more to my mount collection. I wish my demon hunter was stronger, though. I should gear him. Alright. Zooming in here, you'll see the flute. Again, right click it, Bob's your uncle. Alright, let's get the next one. Alright, the next one is the Gardener's Wand. Again, I say it for everyone, there is no specific order, you can do this any order you want. I paste in the TomTom Tom way for the coordinates, my arrow comes up to the left hand side of my screen, and it's going to tell me where the wand is. The wand is between the two tires of the wagon, but for some reason, when I was recording, I forgot. But let's have a laugh and, you know, haha, <laughs> Hades, you potato. Okay, there's the wand. Right click it, loot it, great. Now you have five items, so now we have to hand these items in. I'm going to paste the coordinates to where the NPC is, if you don't know where the NPC is. And you can see it's a long way away. That's because the NPC is located in Tirna Val, right there. So I'm just going to go to a fly path, because it's a main fly path. And I'm going to fly there. So let's just skip ahead forward. Doesn't matter which flight path you go. You can run there. I just took a flight path for the sake of speeding up this guide. Okay. 
So once we get to Tirnavale, the NPC is literally just over this hedge here. So we're going to jump down. You're going to see the beautiful butterfly twinkle star. And what you're going to do now, you're going to open up your bags in the inventory. And all five items are going to merge into one. So you just have to click any one of them. Right click it. And it's going to conjure up the, the item, the toolkit. And then you're going to speak to twinkle star. And you're going to say, I found your gardener's tools. Once you click, I found your gardener's tools. A nice beautiful purple orb behind will spawn and then you right click that and you'll get your mount in your bags because i've done this on my main the mount didn't appear in my bags but i'm going to get on my mount to show you it's a beautiful looking mount it's quick it's easy adds it to your mount collection especially if you're trying to get those you know the big 400 mount achievement which i am almost there no i'm not i'm about nine or no seven away from 350 but there you have it this is how you get this nice, quick, simple mount in Shadowlands. It is the Wild Seed Cradle. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to flick it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.